Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right. Uh, yesterday, I had a paid client who wanted to take my consulting services to figure out how to become a coach or consultant. What are the do's and don'ts and what to consider. Okay. So I thought uh, this would be a very apt topic for some of you who want to be a coach or consultant. I mean, in, in, in the genre of life coaching or proactive coaching or relationship coaching or any coaching, say peak performance coaching. Okay. So now remember one thing, uh, this is, you cannot have a one size fits all. So some of the points may be applicable to you. Some may not. So decide you choose now. First things first is, uh, which I want you to keep in mind is, uh, I'm giving the, uh, whatever I've stated here, 15 points, is based on my experience of not only becoming a coach, there was nobody to guide me. I've seen people who are successful at it. I've seen people who are disaster. So it's my, from my perspective. I would recommend you get other people's perspective as well. Anyway. Now, the first thing that you need to keep in mind is, before I even start the points, there are two kinds of coaching. One is technical or professional. Second one is, you know, this uh, not so professional, not so technical. What do I mean by that? Let's say you're teaching someone programming or you're teaching someone how to be a professional athlete or a boxer or something. Now, that is something you can't just decide one day, okay, I'll be a boxer, boxing coach or a football coach. Without actual experience and years and years of education and training, you can't do that. Okay, you need proper credentials, qualification, like, for example, you want to teach medicine or, okay. So that is what I meant by technical and professional. The not so, the not technical and not professional is this life coaching, coactive coaching, business coaching, uh, all these relationship coaching that anyone can do. Obviously, you can't be as uh, to be, you can't become a psychologist one fine day. You have to study science and g dedicate at least ten to twelve years, or you know, sometimes even twenty years studying psychology. But this other kind of coaching that you want to do as a business, anyone, you, me, anybody can do. And I think this gives rise to the first problem which is my first point is, are you becoming a coach because, you know, some people give you a compliment or you assume it's fun or you assume it's an easy way out or you just had a few episodes and incidents and, oh, okay, I'll be a coach. Like, for example, someone takes a, buys a DSLR, a Canon or Nikon camera, takes a few photographs of some plants and trees and people and post it on Facebook and people say, wow, man, your shots are good, amazing. And next thing you know, this guy is, creates a Facebook page, photography, you know, the name, suppose his name is Sami, Sami photography or Richard photography or Alan photography page and buys a website, Alan photography. And so you all of a sudden, just because they have a DSLR, a camera, and few people give them compliments. They call themselves a photographer. The same thing with the DJ. Say, you know, you have 20 CDs, two speakers, one mixer, uh, laptop, and you call yourself a DJ. So the problem is, have you been influenced because of this? Or are you genuinely interested? Now, even if interested, there are a lot of people who like to advise others and fix their lives when their lives are itself broken. I'll give you a small example. Uh, I'll give you a small example. 
I will not take the name of this person, but I know her personally. Let's say her name is uh, Shainaz. Okay, she's a Pakistani lady. So I've just created this fake name, Shainaz. You can say Ruhi, you can say uh, Amna, whatever name you want. They're a Pakistani lady, okay? Now, this lady, she didn't even have $5 to pay me those days for my coaching class. And those days, I used to not charge much. Even if you gave me $5, that's okay. She couldn't afford to pay even $5. I said, fine, come down for my coaching class at a group that used to come. So she didn't have money. Later on, after the class, she said, I want to talk to you. And those days I used to do for free, you know, because I was new at this. So the summary of her life is, her husband is abusive. He doesn't love her. He has affairs with other women. He beats her up. She cannot get a job. She's not able to earn anything. Even her children don't listen to her. She's overweight, she has health problems, and uh, her life is a mess. In fact, uh, coming to my class, she had to lie to her husband and lie to her family and say that she was going to somewhere else. Actually, because my classes were held on Friday, those, she said she's going to pray. Instead, she came for my classes. Okay. So I gave her whatever solutions could think of at that time. Can't remember what it was. Now, why do I remember her? The same female I saw accidentally a few years, a few months ago. I saw her on LinkedIn. And man, she has photoshopped her photograph to appear slimmer. She's 50 plus. But in the photograph, she looks 20. She has made herself look like unbelievable. She has put some certification, I don't know what all bullshit she has put. And she's a life coach, love coach, relationship coach, confidence coach. Every word you can think of, she's a coach. And uh, obviously, I did a little bit of Google search and all that. She has some old time videos, obviously, because people can see how fat she is, right? So she has not put her official channel on it. But she has her official channel where she doesn't show her face where she just talks and gives some lecture or something. But what I kind of realized is she is faking it. She is faking it that her life is perfect without actually saying anything about her life. But she is busy trying to fix others. She will give advice on how you should choose your right life partner. Now you can say that through her mistakes she wants to correct other people. But how can you, for example, how can you tell people on how to get six-pack abs and lose weight when you are bloated and fat. What are you going to read from some website? Eat healthy, eat salads, do exercise. Now, obviously, I know what the other side of the argument will be. Yeah, you can still be a coach. Not every uh, boxing or uh, basketball coach has won multiple MBAs. This is a common argument of this website. Uh, if you go Facebook group, click funnels. Every Tom, Dick and Harry claims to be a multi-millionaire. Their college students claim to earn seven-figure income. And if you question them, it's a massive group, huh, by the way, these online internet marketers. If you question their, like, you're giving me advice of earning millions, you have not earned. They'll, they'll give you this illogical statement by saying, yeah, NBA coaches have not won multiple MBAs. Uh, boxing coaches have not won world titles, but they can teach you how to box. No, you you have to compare apples to apples, oranges to oranges. You're talking of making money. Okay. You have not earned money. How will you go and give advice? So the first, ex first thing that I want to tell you is, are you looking for an easy way out? Thinking, oh, I'll fix other people's lives. I'll tell other people what to do and they'll pay me money. Even compliments. Yes, even compliments is for free. Who's ready to pay you money? So that's the first point. 